Hello everyone, welcome to the number series strategies that are useful for NIPER and drug inspector exam. Now number series is a very important topic which keeps coming all the time in every competitive exams. In this video I am going to explain strategies like you must know concepts. In order to answer number series questions you need to know certain concepts. Second thing the most important one is pattern recognition. The series itself comes with a kind of pattern and we need to recognize what is that pattern is. The next one is odds and events. See all these strategies I will explain by giving a question and then answering it. So all the questions are taken from previous NIPER examination. Let's get into the topic. Now see if the number 517 something is missing and then 3 to 4 is completely divisible by 3 the smallest whole number in the place of the star. So you have you need to have a digit here and the total it the number has got totally seven digits will be there and you need to find out what what digit you put here so that this will be divisible by three that is what is question so again the most important thing for any mental ability question is you need to understand what is being asked in the last video also i have explained this is the important one now so there is a number so the number is this one and you have a blank there now your job is you need to fill with a digit so that the total number will be divisible by 3. Now this is what there is certain thing called as you need to you must know something called as a divisibility concept. It is called as divisibility concept that means by looking at the number you should be able to tell whether it is divisible by a particular digit or not. Take for the example 2. Now by looking at any even number you can tell it is divisible by 3. This is what is called as divisibility rule. Let me explain and elaborate it. See this is the trick. In order to be divisible by 2, the last digit should be an even number. Understand this thing. See, we all know these things, but we don't realize, without realizing it, we will be doing it. See, 12 is an even number, right? 34 is an even number. 76 is an even number. Look at this one. What is deciding the evenness? It is the last digit. So, this digit will tell you whether the total number is even or not. Even though the first one is odd number, if the last digit is even one, this becomes even number. That is what is there. So, in order to be divisible by 2, the last digit must be an even number. Then it, it will be divisible by 2. This is what is we need to remember. Coming to the 3. Now, in order to be divisible with 3, the sum of digits should be 3. Understand this. Let us take the simple case 3 table. See, 3 5 is a 15, right? 1 plus 5, how much it is? It is 6. 6 is divisible by 3. So, 15 will be divisible by 3. 3. Take another example, 3 9 is a 27, 2 plus 7 9, 9 is divisible by 3. So remember you need to sum all the digits, if whatever you get if it is divisible by 3, then it is divisible by 3, this is the trick. Now the next one, 4, if the last two digits are divisible by 4, then it will be divisible by 4. For example, take this case, let us say 144 is there, what are the last two digits, you add 4 plus 4, 8, 8 is divisible by 4. That means this 144 will be divisible by 4. Look at this. 4, 3 is a 12. 4, 6 is a 24. So it is divisible. Understood? Last two digits. Only these two digits are enough. Now 5, we all know. If the last digit ends with 5 or 0, it will be divisible by 5. Now coming to 6. What is 6? 6 is multi multiple of 2 and 3. So if the number is following divisibility rule for 2 and 3, it will be divisible by 6. Right? Take the example of uh, uh, 6 table, 6 is 36, right? this is divisible by 2 as well as 3, so it must be divisible by 6, that is what it says. Now for 8, the last 3 digits should be divisible by 8, look at this, for 4 we have seen last 2 digits, for 8 it is last 3 digits, 8, 8, 8, for your practice just do it and see, it will be divisible by 8. Now 9 it is like 3, what we say about 3? The sum of digits should be divisible by 3, for 9 the sum of digits should be divisible by 9. 10 is the simplest case, you need to have a last digit should be 0. So see this table you must know this concept. This is what is my first strategy is. In order to number series you must know concepts like this. Just spend some time you will get everything clear. Now what is the question asked in the, in the problem? whether it is divisible by 3 or not. Now what is the rule say? This is what is given here. 
So the number is 517, something is missing, 324. Now in order to be divisible by 3, when you add all the digits, it should be divisible by 3. Let us add these things without this one. 5 plus 1, 6, 6 plus 7, 13, 3 plus 2, 6, 6 plus 4, 10. So how much it is? 23. Now if you add 1, it becomes 24 and 24 is divisible by 3. So what must be the answer? B. What if you add 2? If you add 2, it becomes 25 which is not divisible by 3. So it is not the answer. What if 0? 0 if you add 23 is not divisible by 3. So the only answer is B and this is based on this table. So this is my first strategy. So you need to learn certain concepts. You must learn these concepts in order to do such kind of questions. Moving to the next one. Look at this. Now find the odd one among the following. So this is a series. In this series you need to find out which one is odd one. Now, the second thing, you need to understand pattern recognition. There is something called as pattern recognition. That means, see, all these numbers are in a particular pattern and you need to identify what is that pattern is. Now, some of the techniques, see, in order to do number series questions, you must know squares, squares and cubes of numbers from 2 to 9. Always these are useful. You should, the, the moment you see a number, you should be able to identify whether it is a square or cube is. This is very important. This is what is called as pattern recognition. Let us, let us apply this one. What is 8? See, 8 is 2 cube. That means 2 multiplies 2 multiplies 2, 8. Now, what is 27? It is 3 cube. 3 multiply 3 into 3. 3, 3 is a 9, 9, 3 is a 27. What is 64? It is 4 cube. 4, 4 is a 16, 16, 4 is a 64. Now 100 will not fit into this pattern. Remaining what is 125? It is 5 cube. 216, 6 cube. 343, 7 cube. Look at this. So they are all following a pattern and the pattern is cubic pattern. Which one is odd man here? 100 is not following in. That is what you need to find out. Which one is odd one? 100. Now see, the moment you look all these digits, you should mentally get the idea, what is the pattern is. You have 8, you have 27, you have 64, immediately you should get it. Again, among these, always look for the odd ones. Odd numbers will give you the exact indication, what is that series is. Because see, 8 could be 4 into 2, 8 into 1, uh, anything, it could be 2 into 2 into 2. But 27, you will not get this, only by 3, 9 into 3 or 9 is 3 into 3, so it is a cubic pattern. So you will not have any confusion. So always look for the odd numbers, they will tell you what is the pattern is. And here the odd man in this pattern is 100. So what is the answer? 100. So this technique is called as pattern recognition. The next one, again see, find the question in the following sequence. So there is a sequence with a particular gap and you need to find out what is that particular number is. Again. Look at this. As I told you, you need to look for this odd numbers. What is this odd number? 49. Where do you get with this 49? What is 7 square? 7 square is 49. Good, right? But what is this 64? 64 is 8 square, 8 is 64. What is 81? 9 square is 81. So there is a pattern. What is this one? This one is 7 square. What about 343? 49 into 7, how much it is? 343. So what is this one? This is 7 cube. Again, what is this one? 8 square. There is a blank. Leave that. Now, what is 81? 9 square. What is 729? It is 9 cube. 81 into 9 is 729. So what is the pattern here? A square, a cube, a square. This must be a cube. That means 64 into 8. 28 to, I'm sorry, 31. So I'm sorry, this is 32, I'm sorry. Uh, this is 512. So what is the pattern? Square, cube, square, cube, square, cube. This is what is there. See, this is what is the power of pattern recognition. Look at this, the previous question, it is only about cubes. Now this one, it is a square and cube. That is why I'm telling you, you need to know 2 to 9 numbers of squares and cubes. When you know them, immediately you will understand and recognize this pattern, right? Moving to the next one. Now, again, find the number in the blank in the series. Again, there is a particular series is there and the series will be following a particular pattern. See,
See, 3, 18, 43, 78, 123. Now understand. See, I told you in order to recognize patterns, you need to know n squares and cubes. So, will this have any square or cubic thing? No. You don't have any squares, any cubes. So, it is not following this pattern. So, you cannot apply this one. So, leaving this one, what is another pattern? The other pattern is a standard difference. In the series, there will be a standard difference. What do I mean by standard difference? Look at this, 3, 18. What is the difference between these two? They differ by 15. Right? Now, 18 after that you have 43 is there. What is the difference between these two? 8 and 43, they differ by 25. Now, 43 and then 78. What is the difference? 78 minus 43, it is 35. After that, 123. What is the difference here? 45. Now, look at the pattern. The pattern is 15 difference 25 35 45 next one must be 55 with difference when you add 125 uh, i'm sorry 123 this is 123 123 and 55 what is this 8 7 1 so the next number must be 178 so the answer is this one so now see this is a standard difference you need to understand about squares and cubes and then standard difference leaving this i will tell you one more technique look at the sequence what is this one? This is an odd number. This is even number. What is this? Odd number. This is even number. What is this? Odd number. So the next one must be an even number because this is following a sequence. This is not even. This is not even. This is not even. The only option is this one and this is what is the answer is. See, when you keep on practicing such thing, you will get these ideas. Without doing all this difference and everything, you can put this one as answer. This will, this will save a lot of time. But remember, this one comes with a lot of practice. So this is what I call it as odd even pattern recognition. So in pattern recognition, you have odd and even pattern recognition are also there. Let's move on to the next question. Now what is this? Find the next number in the following series. 2, 5, 9, 19, 37. Again, you need to find for squares. There is no hint of square. You need to find for cubes. No. Let us see the difference. Here it is. 3, here it is 4, here it is 10, here it is 18. Is there any pattern? So we have seen squares pattern, differences pattern. No, both of them are not working out. So there must be another pattern. Now another pattern is addition, subtraction. Now addition, subtraction, what do you mean by that? Let us understand this one. Now how did you get this? The 2 is 1 multiplies 1 plus 1. 1 into 1 is 1, plus 1 is 2. Okay. What is the next number is 2. Now, let's say 2 multiplies 2 plus 1. How much it is? 5. Now, the next number, 5, you take as 5 multiplies by 2 is what? 10 minus 1. So, 10 minus 1 is, I'm sorry, 10 minus 1 is, how much it is? 9. Now, again, Multiply this one with 2. 9 into 2. Now, do a plus 1. What is this? 18. Now, again, 37 multiply with 2. 37 multiplies with 2. See this pattern. This is plus, this is minus. This is plus. Again, you need to minus it. So, how much it is? Two seventy fourteen one seventy four seventy four 74. 74 minus 1, it is 73. Uh, I'm sorry, there is a correction here. See, the, the, the pattern given here, it is 19. So, 9 into 2, 18 plus 1, it is 19. Again, here, the next one is what? 19. So, 19 multiplies 2. How much it is? 38. Now, and then minus 1. Then you get 37. See, this is plus, this is minus. So, plus, minus, plus, minus, what will be the next one? Plus 1. So, what is it? 37 multiplies 2 plus 1. So, 7 is a 14, 1, 2, 3, 6, 74. 74 plus 1, 75. So, this is what is pattern recognition is. So, this one, a standard addition, a standard subtraction. So, understand these things. See, initially, uh, uh, the, the pattern a standard addition, standard subtraction, standard addition, standard subtraction. So the answer must be 75. Again, one more thing. As I told you in the previous thing, 
what are the numbers the next sequence see leaving this two all others are odds so the next one should be an odd one again this one is called as odd even principle you will get it with experience as i told you in this case odd even odd even odd even but leaving this two the rest of things are odd means the next one will follow as odd one so if you know the thing you can eliminate these two and work on these two things if you don't know how to do it at least you can widely guess the answer could be either b or d but here we have come up with the pattern which says the answer is b moving to the next one now again see find the number in the blank now 6 11 20 30 some again again you need to apply what all the things we know squares and cubes will not work standard difference no will not work something is there now we need to figure out what is that something is now again look at this even what is this odd even odd so next one must be even so what all things you can eliminate this one this one this one you have only one thing is there you need to figure out whether this one is correct or not but let us understand how the pattern is now look at this here the pattern is the first one is 6 look at the pattern 3 into 2 plus 0 equal to 6 now sixth one se second one 6 into 2 12 plus 1 i'm sorry uh, this is not plus 1 this is one less is there so this is minus 1 how much it is 11 again 11 into 2 plus 1 how much it is uh, i'm sorry <laughs> again it is the pattern is again minus 1 minus 2 here it is 11 into 2 22 out of 22 if you remove 2 how much it is it is 20 again the next one 20 into 2 but here it is minus 3 how much you will get 40 minus 3 37 then what would be the next one what is the next one 37 37 into 2 then minus 4 see minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 and then minus 4 how much it is 14 one 74 74 minus 1 70 look at this without doing everything by observing odd even patterns you can put the answer this otherwise you need to deduce a particular pattern minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 see standard subtraction this one is standard subtraction this is how you can do it now let us see one more a final thing now see this find the number in the series 1 9 17 33 49 73 73 again let us apply all our rules n square n cube no it is not working standard difference let us see the standard difference what is the difference between 1 and 9 it is 8 what is the difference between 9 and 17 it is also 8 there is a standard difference but 17 and 33 what is the difference 16 33 and 49 difference is 16 Again, see these two is a standard difference. This one is a standard difference. After that, forty-nine and seventy-three. What is the difference? Twenty-four. That means when you add twenty-four to this one, whatever you get, that will be the number. What is this here? Ninety-seven. Look at this. So this is what is pattern is. So two of them standard difference. So this one is also again twenty-four standard difference. Now when you apply odd even principles, what all the numbers? All of them are odd numbers. No exception. so you can strike off all these even ones so the choice is between these two when you observe the pattern you will get this one so this these are all the strategies you need to apply in order to do well in number series thank you for watching this video if you like the video content do subscribe